Hey guys, it's Kayla from Melpop. Did you know that August was National Black Business Month? Well, I'm very excited to share my experience from this past weekend as I had the pleasure of attending the National Urban League's annual conference, which was held in Baltimore, a beautiful city with rich history and deep roots in our culture. If you ever get the chance to visit Baltimore, the very first stop on your list definitely needs to be Miss Shirley's Cafe. There are two locations, with the largest being in downtown near the Inner Harbor. Established in 2005 by restaurateur and Baltimore native Eddie Dopkin, Miss Shirley's Cafe was created as a tribute to an inspirational employee and personal friend, Miss Shirley McDowell, known for her sassy charm and sheer joy at preparing dishes for those she loved. I got to try the Crab Cakes Eggs Benedict, and it was amazing, on top of fried green tomato, which I love. But getting back to the National Urban League, NUL is the oldest community-based civil rights organization here in the state, and its mission is to enable African Americans to secure economic self-reliance, parity, power, and civil rights. Here you see the ribbon cutting for the opening of the Expo Hall, which is open to the public, where you can find a plethora of panels ranging from entertainment, IT, politics, you name it. But just like any other Expo Hall, there's always the vending tables. I tried to stop by as many of the Black-owned businesses that I could, and the first booth that I came across was Miss Jessie's, which had an amazing, amazing display. The staff that was present was also very helpful and friendly as they passed out the goodie bags with lots of samples of their products. Shea Moisture was also in the building, and they too had great staff who was friendly and knowledgeable. They had an amazing display, and people who walked past also got a chance to take home some samples. But my favorite, favorite booth of the whole entire expo hall was for this really adorable children's book called Honeydew and Marilu. When I got a chance to stop by, I heard so many great things. So let's listen in as we hear the illustrator talk about the book. Hi, I'm Sadler Ward, illustrator for Honeydew and Mary Lou. Out of 1,200 books that came out in 2014, less than 95 were children of color. And out of that 95, less than half of that were our little girls. So we just felt as though you guys deserved a lot more representation, different skin tones and hair textures and walks of life and different backgrounds, whether it be Caribbean or, or African or African American. We just wanted to see you guys. And if you think the numbers are low in children's books, you should see the numbers in video games. So to answer that call also, we have young women learning to program, learning to code between the ages of uh, third grade and 27. We're helping to teach you guys to create your own video games so that not only are you represented in the video game, but behind the scenes as well. NBA player Rasheed Wallace has put the funding up for all of this stuff. He's a proud dad. He's the writer. And I'm the illustrator. I do all the artwork. So please shoot us an email. We want to make our team big. And you can find us at www.kidsandrocks.com. On Facebook and we're on Instagram. Send us a like, draw us a picture. We'd love to see your creativity out there because you help us grow and so hopefully we inspire you too. So that's it guys. Check the description box below for more information on how you can get your hands on Honeydew and Marilyn. And don't forget to check us out on social media. Official Melpop at Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. Thanks for watching.